What's up everybody? Matthew Hussey here, The Hungry Hussey, and I'm coming to you today. I'm gonna make a beautiful, big, meaty, oh so luscious, ribeye steak sandwich. <whistles> oh, it's gonna be some good groceries. Hey, let's quit playing around. Let's get it on the griddle. All right, y'all, hey, let's get to it. First things first, I got a couple shallots, little shallots. That's like a, you know, a fancy onion and stuff. I was walking through the grocery store and I thought, you know what, y'all? Let's do some shallots, little shallots. Got a little butter right there. Got a little bit of avocado oil. I wanna roast a little bit of this garlic right here. I'm gonna put that in my mayonnaise for my mayonnaise for the buns on this ribeye sandwich. Golly boy, it's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna roast these off, put a little butter there. I got two shallots, two shallots. We're gonna get this garlic roasted off. We're gonna get some nice color on it, make it get all mushy and stuff. We're gonna put it in our mayonnaise. We're gonna zhuzh it around. We're gonna use that for our spread for our ribeye sandwich. Now, while this is going on, it's gonna take this a minute. We're gonna help it along though, along the way. This is our seasoning right here. Just a little bit of uh, beef powder, about a, a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half beef powder, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of onion powder, and about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Shallots are looking real good. We wanna make sure the shallots are nice and caramelized. I wanna help these along a little bit with, I got a little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar. And that's gonna give it a little bit more sweetness. That's gonna also help it kind of caramelize a little bit more. I got some balsamic vinegar right here. Good balsamic vinegar. I mean, it's nice and syrupy. Actually, it's infused with a little bit of a uh, little bit of hickory, a little smoke. It's beautiful. So that's gonna go well. It's gonna give a little acid, kind of cut through that richness of that beef a little bit. It's gonna let that go. Now, let's get our steak seasoned up here. All right, I'm gonna season these bad boys up here. Again. We just got that beef powder. We got a little salt. Got about a half teaspoon of black pepper there too. I think I went over that earlier. Just wanna get that in there. Use whatever, use whatever seasoning you want, guys. You don't have to use this. Just gonna let that hang out for a little bit. Get those sides. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's gonna be a good ribeye sandwich right there. Let's uh See what our shallots are doing, boy. Those shallots. Mm, boy, they look good. Garlic. Our garlic is roasting up nicely. It's got a nice color to it. Let's see if it's ready to. Not quite, not quite. We're just gonna let it go a little bit more. Might have to chop it up a little bit, put in our mayonnaise. Boy, it's gonna be good. Wow, that's going. Let's talk about our buns. I got four and a half inch seed of this seeded it and it's nice and big because this is gonna be a big sandwich I mean the meat's gonna hang over and that's all right it's kind of like me I mean, <laughs> let's face it well us has got some meat hanging over sometimes y'all <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> so what we're gonna do with this is I'm just gonna toast them up I got some butter right here I'm just gonna, I'm gonna toast them on the blackstone nothing crazy in that butter it's gonna be good I know some people's gonna say, hey, hussy, you gotta go with mayonnaise, you gotta do mayonnaise. No, I, I, I like butter, y'all. I like butter, sorry, I said it. Don't hate me, please. Our garlic, I don't really wanna take it any farther. I mean, our garlic's got a nice little flavor. I'm gonna let that cool off. Now it's gonna slice it, chop it real finely. I'm gonna mash it a little bit. It's gonna be good, okay? I'm gonna put these shallots, I'm gonna put them over here. I'll put it right over there, all right? You stay right there, shallots. Chop up our garlic. You can also, if you got a press, I got one, it's upstairs. Don't have it. So you can just take your knife, just like this right here. Look at that. See that paste? We're just making a paste. Golly, that smells, smells beautiful too. Golly, boy. That's gonna add a good little element to our mayonnaise. Duke's mayonnaise, state law. All right, y'all, 
ribeye time. Let's get it on a black stone. I believe that's ready. We're at 460, 470 degrees. Perfect. Tell you what I'm gonna try out. I'm not even gonna put any oil down. It's gonna let the fat from that ribeye right there, a beautiful ribeye, just kind of rendered on the black stone, okay? This is gonna be quick and fast. While those are going, I wanna lay some butter down. Put our buns down. Okay, I wanna do a little lettuce, a little lettuce and mater. I'm gonna do a little lettuce and tomato. Beautiful tomato, doll strong knife. Make short work of that tomato. Beautiful, I like shredded lettuce. You don't have a really sharp knife in your arsenal, get one. Doll strong, best in the business. Our buns, look at that, look at that bun. Just gonna put those on the other side. Our steaks, I wanna flip them, ready? Look at that nice crust, look at that nice crust. It's so beautiful, it's beautiful. Now, I wanna preface everybody, I am not doing any cheese. Uh, I opted not to. I actually had some cheese. I was going to do some white American. I had some provolone that I was going to do. But I was like, no, nah, I, I don't want to do cheese. Just don't want to. Just don't want to. Our buns, beautiful buns, just like that. Woo wee boy. Let's get our mayonnaise. I think you can also call this an aioli. I mean, we're fancy. We got shallots. I feel like shallots. I mean, I feel like some girl, you know, listen, you, know you went to like. You know, elementary school. Yeah, I know. I remember shallot. Yeah. Now these steaks go fast. All right. Take them to whatever temperature you want. Uh, medium, whatever. Medium rare. I'm gonna do about medium rare, um, which is about right here. It's nice and thin, so you know it's gonna be all right. Look at that beautiful, beautiful steak, y'all. Golly, boy. Let's build these dudes. All right. Got our beautiful steak right, right there. <laughs> I like that meat hanging over, y'all. I just like that meat hanging over. Now, I'm gonna do half of my shallots. Beautiful shallots. Now, do this. Boy, boy, what you know. Good day in the morning. Good day in the morning. We're gonna put our lettuce. I'm gonna put a mater like that. Boy, some good groceries right here. This is a little bit of our, just our rub. I don't have any salt and pepper out here with me. I do somewhere, but I ain't gonna find it. That's just what we season the steak with. There you have it folks, Hussy ribeye steak sandwich. Don't get any better than this y'all. Golly boy, don't. Get some of that. This bad boy's cooled off. Let's give her a try. I'm gonna give her a slice. Boy, that's, it's nice, it's tender. That knife just, well, the knife goes right through it. Look at that. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. 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 Man. Mmm. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm sorry about this right here. I tell you, first thing I get is that garlic aioli or whatever, garlic mayonnaise. Mm. Well, that's fantastic. Then the shallots, along with that balsamic vinegar with that brown sugar, and the shallots are nice and, and just really sweet too. Give this steak sandwich a try. You'll love it. Personally, I don't think it needs cheese. Um, I, just, I just like it standing on its own along with the other ingredients. Well, y'all, hey, that's all I got for y'all today. I appreciate uh, all the love, appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, hit that like button below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that join button too. You get a few more perks and other uh, non-members, okay? But hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And until next time, folks, and Maggie, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.